With us now is Karine El Harar, Knesset member with the Yesh Atid party. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for being with me. Do you trust Benny Gantz? It's not a matter of trusting. It's a matter of how you keep your promises. Uh, Yesh Atid party is the biggest party in the camp uh, uh, of the center. And uh, what we want to do really is to change this government and to bring a, a government that will keep the sanity, a liberal government, a government that its uh, members will wake up every morning to work for the citizens of Israel. And as we can see right now, there are many, many, too many parties uh, at the center left uh, camp, and it's not a good thing. Uh, what we need to do is to change the situation. Uh, anyway, we will uh, consider every party, uh, but what I want to say is that nobody serious will have a negotiation uh, in the press, in the media. It's not relevant to do so. Uh, so, but you mentioned that Yeshatid is the biggest party in the anti-Netanyahu uh, block on the center left, but maybe it's not good enough. Ron Huldai has noted that uh, Lapid has had multiple chances in multiple years. He cannot break through. Maybe it's time for a different leader. What about Huldai? I beg to differ because uh, Lapid was not the candidate uh, for to be prime minister the last time, three times. Uh, Benny Gantz was the leader, and he failed because right after the election, he broke down and he went to sit and to form a government that Netanyahu would be the prime minister against every promise that he uh, uh, told his uh, voters. Uh, so I, I don't agree with the whole day. Uh, um, yeah, is a leader that kept his promises. He never failed his voters. So I think he's wrong uh, by saying that thing. Ma'am, you mentioned that your negotiations don't take place in the press, in the public. But I want to note, I want to say what Yair Lapid said to the public. He said, uh, I am sorry for convincing people to trust Benny Gantz. Benny Gantz is a deceitful person. He apologized publicly. So why even consider bringing Gantz back, uh, why not rule it out clearly once and for all? I want to tell you that uh, in politics, nothing is personal. I'm not saying that we will uh, uh, bring uh, Benny Gantz to Yeshatid, yes or no. I'm just saying that in the politics, you have to consider what's the, the best thing for the citizens. We're not dealing with the small politics and uh, uh, we're not uh, uh, making checks and balances uh, as for our uh, private opinion. Mm. Uh, what we want to make is uh, a normal government that will really work for the citizens of Israel. And we need to consider every party that is in our uh, uh, wing and uh, uh, to make the best decision. And I think that no matter what, for me, it's not very serious to uh, uh, have a press conference and to uh, send their uh, email invitations uh, without uh, talking. Hmm. Uh, if you want to talk, I'm sure that uh, Benny Gantz has the Ayla Pitt's uh, phone number, and he could have really done it by phone or in a meeting. The, the way he did it, to me, it's not very serious. Hmm. Ma'am, I want to turn to an international story, if I can. The Yesh Atid party, Yair Lapid himself, uh, you've said you're very excited to work closely with the Joe Biden administration. Are you afraid, though, perhaps, for Joe Biden's safety, for his physical safety during the inauguration, the fears of violence next week? Um, the, the pictures that we saw last week from Washington are terrifying. And I hope that all measures are being taken uh, uh, to save uh, the elected president. And I hope that we will not see any uh, attack on the president. It's very scary, uh, actually. Mm. 
Uh, do you think that Yeshati needs to have primaries that to open itself up for for uh, the, vo the voice of the people more rather than a hand-picked slate? Is it holding you back? I don't believe in open primaries. I've seen what it has done to uh, other parties such as Kadima, such as Avoda, the Labour Party, such as Likud. Uh, I, I don't believe in open primaries, but I do believe that there should be uh, a closed primaries, meaning that uh, within the party, the, the members of the party, uh, not the MKs, of course, but the, the people who are, are part of Yeshatid, uh, uh, they, they should be uh, uh, able to vote for uh, the leading candidate, yes. Hmm. All right. Okay. And Yael Afid himself uh, said that that's what will happen for Yeshatid in 2021. Uh, Ma'am, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us here on I-24 News. Corinne El-Harar with uh, Yeshatid, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you very us. much.